Dolly was um, yesterday around about three o'clock was running around on the A33 in Reading. Um, subsequently ended up in the uh, Kennet where she um, was unable to get out of the water. We swiftly recovered Dolly, um, brought her to the bank but unfortunately once we got her to the bank we were we were stuck in a situation where what do we do with Dolly now? About six o'clock uh, last night a call from the oncoming watch found out the blue watch had been to an animal rescue which is not unusual because we do animal rescue here but that they'd brought the sheep back to the station so uh, not a usual occurrence. You cannot just place an animal back into a field that you've no idea who owns it um, is that field safe for it to go back in? Because effectively, if uh, this animal has anything uh, wrong with it, um, you could potentially block any animal moving from that farm. One of our very strong firefighters picked it up because it was very weak, it had been trying to get out, carried it and put it in the back of our water rescue unit. Couldn't identify the owner, um, so brought it back here so then we could carry out further investigations and uh, try and rehome it. I don't mean she was too pleased about it, but it's a long way to walk. <laughs> Some people may be asking, so why the fire service rescuing a sheep? Obviously we're concerned about animal welfare and we rescue a wide range of animals. If we rescue the animal, it prevents any uh, of the public from taking risk themselves. 83% of people will take a risk to save their animals. Uh, we will go in, rescue the animal, and then that is a prevention activity for us to stop human beings doing, taking risks to save their animals.